In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Uh, today we gather, class of 2020, on your senior retreat day. Uh, obviously we wanted this retreat day, every year this retreat day, it's kind of a special day for you guys to share your memories, share and give thanks for your time here at Saints. Um, we're obviously doing this a little bit differently this year. Everything seems to be different this year. Uh, know that uh, Mrs. Yoakum, myself, the administration, the faculty, um, we're working really hard for you guys. We really care about you. We want you to have the best experience that you can. Um, and that's why we're fighting so hard to get you this graduation uh, coming up soon that we hope to be on, on June 12th. And so we're really looking forward to that, looking forward to seeing you and looking forward to celebrate you. Today is for you, a day to reminisce, a day to give thanks for, a day to go down uh, memory lane. Uh, we're going to take our readings today from the Feast of St. Augustine. So as we look to our patron, uh, we ask that he watch over us uh, and guide us and pray for us as you prepare to take that next step uh, on the journey of your lives. So as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries today, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, Grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have love through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to his disciples Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Christ. Our readings today from the feast uh, of our Holy Father and patron, St. Augustine, uh, 
are a really good springboard into this retreat day, this day of reflection for each of you. St. Augustine loved the first letter of St. John. He has a lot of commentaries uh, on it. And I also think that the letters of, of John, um, if we did not have the Gospels, if we didn't have the Bible, and we just had these three letters from John, you could be a very good Christian. You could be a very good man. You could live a very holy life. The letters of John are a synthesis of how to live a good life and how to give thanks for the many gifts which we have been blessed with. It's all about having a good foundation. It's all about having a good core. You know, no core strength, the body is weak. No foundation, and when the storm comes or the earth shakes, that building is going to fall. We pray and we hope that we, the Augustinians, faculty and staff here at Saints, have helped you to build a good foundation. Yes, in academics. Uh, yes, on the field. Yes, with friendships that you carry. Yes, with this brotherhood um, that you will soon become alumni of and remain in forever. Um, we hope that we have helped you to do that. And we hope that this experience of being the, the class of 2020, that you may forever be bonded in that way as you join the ranks of um, alumni of St. Augustine High School. This is your home. And we hope that it's a happy home for you, that you had a good experience here. Um, but I don't want to speak in the past tense. I'm sensing the past tense. This remains your home, and when you come back here in the hallowed halls of this school, that, that foundation you may look to and see, because I was here, I'm a better man, a better person because of it, and now I'm this person that I am now, and I give thanks for that. And so, yes to, uh, of course, the academics, of course, the sporting um, experiences, of course your retreat experiences, of course your service experiences, all of those things in some way help to build that foundation of who you are today and the many great things that you will be doing in your life still to come as you get ready for college and beyond. And so we give thanks today. Thanks for the memories, thanks for the friends, thanks for our teachers, thanks for those who journeyed with us, thanks for our parents and grandparents and anyone who supported you in any way, especially financially, those who sacrificed to be able to give you the opportunity uh, to be here at this school. Let's give thanks and let's thank God, the true center of our lives, for the opportunity to have lived this out and to be a saintsman forever. Now let us offer our needs and petitions to our good and loving God. Let us pray for uh, the church, for the Augustinians, for St. Augustine High School. Uh, let us give thanks uh, for the gift uh, of this school and for all those who make the school possible. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for our nation, for all government leaders, for public health officials, that they might work with a sense of wisdom and prudence and be guided by the Spirit as they make difficult decisions. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in thanksgiving for the faculty and staff here at St. Augustine High School, uh, for your favorite teachers and for even those teachers whom you struggled with, and for all the teachers that fall in between, uh, for those who've uh, sacrificed and spent long nights uh, work, grading your work and giving you feedback and supporting you in the hallways and saying the words that they do. Let us give thanks for the faculty and for this we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for each of you as you enter this day of reflection uh, for the intentions of the class of 2020 and for the intentions of the class of 2020 really around the world. You're forever bonded to this class of 2020 and so we, we pray for your class um, that you may succeed in all your future endeavors in college and beyond. 
Um, and we pray for any intentions which you might have. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and loving God, hear these prayers and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Be God. Pray, brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert and John, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Augustine, our patron saints, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other some sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Take a moment during this purification of the vessels to give thanks to God for the gift of being a saintsman. Thanks to God for these past four years, even amidst the difficulties and struggles, the great joys that you came to know uh, through the grace of being here. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Enjoy the rest of your day of reflection, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at your graduation. God bless you. Say
to the stars Going back to the start